Hello, my name's Martin Fish, and this is now 10 years since Cobra started selling garden machinery in the UK. And what a great way to celebrate that by introducing a range of ride-on mowers. There are eight mowers in total. We've got a couple here to look at, and within the range, they mow from 34 inches to 42. So ideal for large domestic lawns. So what we'll do, we'll have a look at this one first. I'm gonna start it up and do some mowing, and then we can look at all the features that it's got. This particular model has got what we call hydrostatic, so there's no gear stick. It's basically a pedal on the right hand side that we push at the front to go forward and then with our heel on the pedal there to go backwards. So that makes it really easy to manoeuvre. It's got a brake as well and from a starting point of view you've got to have the brake engaged before you can start the ignition key. This lever here on the left is the height of cut, so this will lower and raise the cutting deck. So lots of options there, we've got seven cutting heights, so I'm going to put it about four midway to do some grass cutting. This particular model can mow in two ways. It can collect in the bag at the back here, or you can use it as a mulch mower. So that's great, nice and versatile in the garden. On the controls here, we've got the throttle lever here with the choke, which we're going to use for starting. And when we do start it, you need to depress the brake, push it onto choke, and then we would turn the key. And then as soon as it fires, we knock it down into the fast position. Um, to start this mower as a safety feature, the blades have to be disengaged. So this is the yellow button here. So that is pushed down. In fact, the mower won't start if it's lifted. And to put the blades in gear when the engine is running with the brakes still depressed, that will put the blades into gear and away we go. Let's start the mower, put it into cutting mode and do some mowing. So it's brake down, choke up, start it, and then we can lift the yellow lever and away we go. Well, there you can see it makes an absolutely wonderful job of cutting the grass. Lots of heights you can adjust it to for really close or if you can lift it if you want to. And it's got a great turning circle and you've got plenty of power as well. It's got a Lonsin 452cc engine, so loads of power for mowing in all conditions. Just another one of the safety features I want to point out is you'll notice at the side of the button that you lift to engage the blades, there's a little silver button. That's there purely if you want the blade still to be cutting, but you want to reverse with the back pedal here. If you don't push that button down, the engine will cut out for safety reasons. So if you do need to reverse into a corner with the blades cutting, simply just push the silver button down and it will keep the blades cutting for you. I've been cutting and collecting in this large collection bin at the back, but you can also use this as a mulch mower. So what I'm gonna do now is take this, show you how to empty the grass cuttings, and then we'll fit the mulch plug as well. Right, great thing about this, it's so easy to empty. And it also tells you when it's full, because when you're mowing and this grass bag is full, there'll be a beep that says it's time to go and empty it. Um, to empty it, you can sit on the mower, pull this lever out, and it's then just a case of lifting that, giving it a good shake, and then move forward, and you've emptied it. So to change it from collection to mulch plug is very, very easy. So what we need to do is to take this collector off. So we just pull it up with this and it hooks off as simple as that. So I'm just gonna pop that there. And this is the mulch plug. Now with this particular model and all the, the mowers in the range, this comes with it and also the tow bar, which with most other mates you have to buy as extra. So these are included in the price and it goes in that way so the smooth piece goes underneath at the bottom and we just put it in and it just needs a bit of a wiggle till it goes all the way in like that. So that is now firmly in position and then we've got two springs that we can just into the holes there and then there's one this side 
And then to operate the mower for safety, we have to have this back in position. It just simply hooks on like that, pushes down and it's locked into position. And of course the benefit of the mulch plug means that you don't do any grass collecting at all. The grass is cut very finely and it's blown back down into the sward of the grass. And what that does is it breaks down very, very small pieces that you can't see, recycles the nutrients, the nitrogen in the grass clippings and helps to keep your lawn nice and green and healthy. And great in the summer, it means it won't dry out as quickly and it will stay greener for longer. But you do need to mow on a regular basis so that the grass never gets too long. So this is the collect and mulch model, which will make a fantastic job of keeping your lawn in great condition. So let's go and have a look now at one of the other models. So this is another one of the models in the range. This one has got a bigger cut. This is a, a 42 inch cut on this one, but it doesn't collect. This one is a mulch mower and a side discharge. And I'm gonna show you those in a second. Engine is the same powerful 452 cc engine. So bags of power there for mowing grass, long or short. And the difference with this one is also, this is a manual gearbox on this one, but you can also get it with the hydrostatic if you want to. But everything else on this mower, the starting procedure and all the controls are the same as the other mower that we've just looked at. Down here is where we've got the side discharge chute and the mulch plug. Different setup to the one on the other mower. Instead of going in the back, what this does, this mulch plug here, stops the grass ejecting from the side so it stays within the deck, chops it very, very finely, and then blows it back down into there. So you use this on reasonably short grass, not long, long grass. To take it off, it's very simple. We just remove the levers here and the springs. So I'm just going to take these springs off this one at the back like that and then that you just clip out like that put that somewhere safe for when you need it obviously all you do is fit it back on in reverse and then this becomes a side discharge so you can mow quite long grass with this so if you've got a paddock or an area that you're allowed to naturalize for part of the year but you want to cut it down at the end of the season you can put the mower on high and it will cut long grass and throw it out into rows at the side so what we're going to do is take this down onto the lawn i'm just going to show you it mowing in the side discharge mode so let's get it started and remember it's foot on the brake to start the mower choke Well, there you can see the side discharge makes an amazing job of cutting the grass. And of course, you can cut grass of all different heights with it. So there's just a quick look at two of the new ride-on mowers in the Cobra range. And for more details, go to the website cobragarden.co.uk.